morning everybody from me and Big Bird over here. <laughs> it is our second day in Brussels and it is absolutely lashing today. The good news is that it is really tropical feeling. I'm literally only wearing a jacket so that my arms are not covered in rain. It's lovely, it feels really warm. It's kind of like being in Florida almost. That kind of tropical sticky weather that you don't even care that it's raining. The only bummer about it is that we have a walking tour, chocolate and beer tour booked for about half three today I think it is and it is going to be raining for the entire four and a half hours that we are walking around Brussels. But we have the umbrella and we are not going to let any rain stop us. Isn't that right Big Bird? That's correct. <laughs> this is why if I lived in Brussels I would be absolutely enormous. Look at them. Everybody is so fascinated by the colour of Danny's poncho that they're asking him where he got it. <laughs> we actually got them in Universal Orlando two years ago. And it still fits. Still fits, wow! We have a bit of time before our walking tour, so we've come to where I showed you yesterday, Droga Opera. Ordered a cappuccino, trying to save the calories because we are going to be eating a ton of chocolate and a ton of beer. And this is what has arrived. Oh my god, not complaining. But that is fairly heavy going for cappuccino. Wow. Have on the back there for me. We're also in prime watching position just to sit here and like watch the world go by. And it is hilarious watching all the couples eating each other. <laughs> absolutely wrecking the head of each other with their suitcases going along because they can't find the hotel that they're staying in. That wasn't us yesterday, that was us in London when maps wouldn't take us to the right place. Hilarious. I should probably mention pricing in Brussels. I haven't actually talked about how expensive or inexpensive it is. To be honest, we have not noticed any difference between prices in London and Dublin and here it's been pretty much standard, hasn't it? In terms of what we've... Would you? Yeah, right. cheaper here. Cheaper here, okay. Drinks you see, I don't really drink alcohol. Danny would know. Uh, for what I would drink, cocktails it seems to be fairly standard pricing, but for yeah. what he's drinking, it's a lot cheaper, especially the local beers. In general, food, pretty much standard. You know, I don't know why people really complain about coming to uh, the European cities because for us it has been pretty much the same as what we would have spent on a day out in London. So we're just making our way up to Chocopolis where we are starting our beer and chocolate tour which I'm really excited about. It is four and a half hours of constant walking but the rain has stopped, it's warm and all is well with the world. It's called the Brussels Journey and it is extremely highly recommended on TripAdvisor so we are hoping that it will be money well spent because it was slightly pricey but I think for what we're going to get it will be great value for money. One way to find out. Uh, this guy actually had the gorgeous idea, also in the middle of the eight, uh, 19th century, to take his medicine and to wrap it with chocolate. So every single chocolate you'll eat over here on the tour is handmade in Brussels. It's artisan work uh, with no artificial flavorings, only the real deal. Danny, open your nose. It smells like heaven inside. <laughs> flavors, also sometimes chocolate kind of sour. At this point you can also make chocolate vinegar. So we are off to our next chocolate stop and I am incredibly impressed so far. We've tried two different pralines and he's giving us plenty of tips on where to avoid in Brussels as well. I think our general consensus after coming out of the third shop is that we've been eating rubbish chocolate our whole life. Forever. <laughs> Forever. This is absolutely insane. The information, everything is just incredible. Oh, I can't recommend this tour enough and we're only one hour in. So we're heading towards the medieval city of Brussels now. I think it's amazing that on this tour we are getting beer, chocolate and also a city tour. We wouldn't have known half of these things if it wasn't for our fabulous guide. We'll also get to see the most famous landmark in Brussels which is the Mannequin Piss. Fun fact, the Mannequin Piss that you see on the street here in Brussels is not the real one. It is a replica that is here since the 1800s because actually it has been kidnapped multiple times and eventually the city decided enough was enough. So this is a replica. Oh that's hilarious. <laughs> so this is he. Today he is dressed as hip-hop mannequin piss. <laughs> the buildings over here uh, are from different times. The oldest one is the city hall. Yeah, the city hall is from the 15th century. I got a bit cold all of a sudden. Took out my jacket. There was a bee in my jacket that is after stinging me on my shoulders. I felt it move. It squeezed out my fingers. Ooh. As it's expected, today on our walking tour, we're learning about all the places that we were kind of bopping around just ourselves yesterday. And we've really taken a step up in what we know about Brussels and how we feel about the place. Now that we've got some history behind it, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm very excited about the beer. And then we'll head into another bar where we'll have two modern beers. And in the last bar, we'll have two Trappist beers. We would spread the cream cheese over the bread. Mm -hmm. So the lesson from stop number one. 
Belgian beer is incredibly strong. <laughs> Holding myself on the walls here, folks. And that's the end of day two, Emma. Done. We're off to Munich in the morning.